Hello and welcome to Total Telecom TV. This is a slightly unusual interview because it's coming to you from 2026. Kurt, tell us, explain to us why we're coming from uh, 10 years ahead. Well, I wanted to give uh, the view from uh, uh, that side and uh, what we have seen in 2026, that the economies that grew the strongest uh, were visionary uh, people who allowed uh, the broadband network to grow uh, and to develop in a, in a much different way. Copper network has been displaced by all fiber network. A basically unlimited broadband network became a basic infrastructure like electricity, water and a fantastic transport network. Yes, just to explain, we're at the FTTH Council exhibition in Luxembourg where you gave a talk from the perspective of 2026. Now, staying with 2026, just remind us some of the hurdles we had to go through from 10 years ago in 2016. Yeah, what we saw uh, back then is, you know, the countries that evolved the quickest were when uh, political and regulatory environment uh, were most visionary. Uh, that allowed companies to settle uh, in certain areas, creating good jobs. And uh, that was basically the main reason uh, that these uh, economies evolved. Countries that kept the strategy of protect the old asset and the very defensive broadband strategy, they grew much slower. OK, now adjusting my flux capacitor and bringing us back to the year 2016, uh, you have a magnificent stand here in Luxembourg. Tell us a little bit about what you're showing to help the industry get to that point. Yeah, well, we have been in the business uh, for fibre to the home for quite some years and, uh, you know, a lot of installed uh, solutions around the planet and we hope to increase that and the philosophy of Huber Sooner has always been uh, to ha have a future-proof solution for the entire uh, uh, portfolio, meaning starting in central office, efficient management, outside plant, as well as building and home access uh, equipment uh, for that industry. Now, talking about building networks, of course, we're talking about networks for 2026, 2036, etc., etc. Quality is very important to the longevity of these networks. Yeah, thank you that you touch on that. And as a Swiss company, obviously, it was uh, Huber Sooner always had uh, was a top priority. Has always been quality, and uh, the operators who use actually a quality solution from day one, they have a lower total cost of ownership because they don't have to change it every few months or years, and uh, it was always a milestone in Huber Sooner's strategy, and it will remain like that. Well, let's hope when they come to film Back to the Future 4, they feature a Huber and Sooner network from somewhere in Europe or across the world. I am convinced. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you.